This video is supported by Skillshare. This is the Crew Dragon, SpaceX answer to the famous Space Shuttle. The first test launch of Crew Dragon is scheduled for January 2019, which is next month, and it's a big deal. As 2018 draws to a close, we're headed towards the final stretch for manned spaceflight to the International Space Station launched from the United States soil. It's been eight years since the Space Shuttle was launched from the same location, so we're all eagerly waiting for this launch. It's the same reusable concept, but the outcome, I think, will be different this time. As someone who's quite invested in space and technology in general, I have a responsibility to explain to you how far we've come in just the last decade in terms of space technology. So let's start with the most important change that matters in the situation. The shuttle story is one that's filled with complex feelings. The project started out with the noblest intentions, human explorations of the outer space, and perhaps in the process make use of our space resources. The shuttle was going to be the vehicle that enables it. The logic behind this project is this. After years of fighting the space race with the Soviet Union spending billions of American taxpayers' dollars, the race is won and it's time to finally make use of these advanced technologies and hopefully we can benefit from it. But after the shuttle was completed, very quickly we realized that our aspirations of the shuttle do not match its reality. Its reusability did not result in lower cost and it's not as safe as we want it to be. In 1986, an explosion that happened less than two minutes into the launch took away seven of our astronauts' lives and we finally accepted the fact that the shuttle will never become the enabler of space exploration and the successor of Saturn V. something that is planned, of course. I can see a solid rocket booster has broken away from Shuttle Challenger. That's what you're looking at in the middle of your screen. I cannot see the shuttle itself. I don't know. The space program was finally terminated in 2011 after another disaster at landing and ever since then, we did not have a single astronaut sent from the United States soil. That is until now. Ironically, the vehicle that is going to replace the shuttle uses the same reusable concept, but the outcome this time will be very different. The vehicle is called Falcon 9 and the company behind the rocket is of course SpaceX. This is the side-by-side -side comparison between SpaceX Falcon 9 and the Space Shuttle. They have an overall similar payload capability, both around 20 tons to the low Earth orbit, but Falcon 9's reusability follows a safer concept. Many people do not realize this, but the part of Falcon 9 that lands on Earth is the unmanned part, its first stage, while the part of Space Shuttle that lands on Earth is the manned part. This has directly put our astronauts in danger during the Columbia incident where the ablating tiles on the left wing cost us seven lives. If we compare the interior of Space Shuttle with Crew Dragon, the control system this time is also much more advanced. The old interior looks a lot like a cockpit with many mechanical buttons, but the new one has digital buttons that uses 21st century technology instead. What this means is that more decisions are now made by a machine that has automated sequences to keep our astronauts safe during emergency situations. This technology was not available in the 1970s when the shuttle was designed, but it's available now. Lastly, Crew Dragon also has a more robust launch abort system. Currently, the most frequently used escape system incorporates an abort tower which essentially pulls the human capsule away from the rocket when it detects a threatening anomaly. Very recently, this system saved two of our astronauts pulling them away from the failing Soyuz rocket. SpaceX uses a different escape method. Here's the test SpaceX conducted in 2015 and the crucial difference between Crew Dragon and its predecessor is that SpaceX uses Super Draco thruster that were embedded on the side for escape. This allows astronauts to activate abort sequences all the way before reaching the International Space Station, whereas Soyuz escape tower is ejected after reaching orbit. This makes Crew Dragon the safest spacecraft humans have ever built. However, the robustness of the Crew Dragon is still under examination. Two more steps will be taken before Crew Dragon starts sending astronauts. The first one is the unmanned launch next month, and on top of that, SpaceX will also conduct a second escape test 
right before the manned mission in the middle of 2019 to test the launch escape system aboard Falcon 9. It is not hard to see that the Crew Dragon will be a tested vehicle that's safe to ride. Now that we have discussed the safety improvements, let's talk about the technology that makes Crew Dragon different. First and foremost is 3D printing. The Super Draco engines I mentioned will be 3D printed. So is the helmet of the spacesuit. Now, what does that mean? 3D printing has been a buzzword in the high-tech community for quite some time now, but in the case space exploration, it does present the most promising potential. 3D printing creates solid structures from aggregated dust and microscopic particles. This is particularly beneficial for space exploration because sending objects to space is quite expensive, so you want it to be multifunctional. With 3D printing, the same material that makes up the space helmet can be used to construct the Super Draco and many other components as well. This means 3D printing could revolutionize space exploration by helping astronauts create objects in space and on demand. Replacement parts for repairs, custom equipment for scientific experiments, and even things like food and buildings. This could be an essential technology for Mars exploration where it is inefficient to get materials transported from Earth. Secondly, the Crew Dragon capsule will be reusable. There will be no attempt at landing, but SpaceX will make sure that the Crew Dragon come back with a parachute in good conditions so that it could be launched again at a later date. For the first mission, Crew Dragon will either be converted into a cargo capsule for a future mission, or it will be used again in May for an in-flight abort test with Falcon 9. The technology that fuels this change is its heat shield. Since SpaceX is the only company that's able to slow a rocket down from orbital velocity, it does know a thing or two about heat-resistant materials. It uses a revolutionary material called Pika-X, which is an evolution from Pika, phenolic impregnated carbon ablator. Pika-X is the much stronger variant of Pika. It has a proven track record of bringing on crude capsule back with pressures cargo missions. I'm sure it will do a great job for our astronauts in the coming future. In fact, in terms of heat resistant materials, SpaceX is the most experienced by now with so many re-entries under its belt. As humans explore further and further into the unknown, safety become more and more important. And the technology we use today to keep our astronauts safe will become the foundation for future space explorations. 3D printing in particular is a very promising technology. Super Draco and the space helmet are both 3D printed, so that in the situation where one of the space helmets break down, it can be easily replaced by 3D printing. This is just one example, but it does show us how exciting the future of space exploration is. I'm super happy to be a part of this journey, but everything starts next month with the SpaceX Crew Dragon launch. As the space industry gets more futuristic, our educational system is also embracing changes. One of the companies that emerged from these changes is Skillshare. Skillshare is an awesome online community with over 20,000 classes in analytics, business, technology, and more. You can think of Skillshare as a toolbox that helps you improve your skills when you needed it most. Do you want to make animated videos like a pro? Then learn it from a pro. This is the design strategy I adopted when I started making videos on YouTube. There are many great resources on Skillshare, such as this awesome beginner's After Effect animation course from Phil Abner. Check it out to learn from the pros. Skillshare has also offered you guys a two month free trial. So sign up to Skillshare today with the link in the description down below. By doing so, you also help the channel as well. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I've mentioned two pieces of technology in this video. The first one is 3D printing, which has huge potential for the future of space exploration. And the second one is the heat shield, which is, I think, the foundation of SpaceX success so far. But the truth be told, there are so many more technologies that are incorporated in, in the Crew Dragon, which I would love to share with you guys in the future. So please stick around on this channel and, and follow me at Lay Creatives on Twitter and Instagram for more exciting stories like this. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm Lei. I'll see you guys next time.